So, you posted code without code tags. Hello, and welcome to Manta Mentoring. I'm Renath Nagel, and I've been using the Unity Game Engine and Forum for about 14 years now, and I'm here to tell you how to get the most out of them. And I'd like to start with some very general advice. The first one seems pretty obvious. It's just be nice. Don't be demanding. When you come to the forums, don't come in expecting us to do your work for you. We can explain it to you, but we can't understand it for you. And we don't want to do all of your work for you unless you pay us. Secondly, write a subject line that's actually useful. Don't just say help. Actually say what the problem is related to. Next, use code tags. If you don't use code tags, you'll probably just get told to use them. Uh, code tags make code a lot more readable. And when you paste an error, paste the full error message. Don't just post the error code. No one has error codes memorized. There's a poll feature on the forums. It looks like this. Don't use it. It just makes you look silly. Don't PM people without permission. Don't ask us to solve your problem in private. PMing without permission is against the forum rules, and it's just not how you get help. We like to explain things in public. And finally, make sure you explain your desired behavior instead of just saying it doesn't work. Well, let's start with code tags. Simply use code tags. It is the first sticky note in the forums, right there, and it makes your code much easier to read. So check this out. So you see here we have the post that we're about to click submit on, and when we click submit, it looks like this. There's no indentation, there's no code coloring, there's nothing. It's just a block of text, and this is very difficult to read because it doesn't look like code normally looks like. So don't do that. Here on the other hand, notice we've got this little code tag here, and got another one at the end there. That makes it look like this on the forums. It looks so much nicer now. You can see things are immediately highlighted. You can see that we're missing brackets. We can see we're missing capitalization. Uh, we have semicolons where they shouldn't be. And it also prevents the forums from mangling your code, uh, as you can see in this example. Take a look here. Notice that it suddenly starts going from regular to italics, and there is something missing here. And it looks like that. Uh, the forum is interpreting that array index as an italics tag, and this is not the code that this person intended to post, and they're going to get incorrect advice because of it. The next thing not to do is necropost. Do not necropost. That's what's happening here. You can see this was last posted to in 2010, and someone decided to post to it in 2021 without adding any new useful content. Don't do this. Just because a post came up in the Google search, it doesn't mean that it's the same problem, and you would know whether or not it has the same problem if you just read the thread. If you didn't read the thread, then why would we put effort into creating an answer that you're not going to read? If you did read the thread, and it doesn't solve your problem, then it's a different problem, and you should make a new thread. If you read the thread, and it does solve your problem, mission accomplished. Your work here is done. You don't need to necropost to say thanks. That just drags up the post and creates more forum spam, uh, which makes it harder for people who actually need help to get it. You can just leave a like, and the person will get a notification to know that their help is appreciated, and you can move on. The next thing to note is that you need to include the whole error message if you're getting one. See this right here? No one knows what that means. We don't have error codes memorized. You can get the whole error message. If you open up your console like this, this is accessible if you click on the bottom part of the Unity window, um, and then you can click on one of these items and just hit copy. That will give you the whole error message. They contain a lot more information other than just the error code, such as line numbers, which are especially helpful if the code you posted has code tags. Because again, it will give you line numbers. The next thing that you need to do is explain your desired behavior. What I mean is this. See that phrase here? That phrase, isn't working, is useless. Just the words, it doesn't work, just remove it from your vocabulary entirely. Do you get a compiler error? Do you get a runtime exception? Does it do nothing at all? Does it do something, but it's the wrong thing? These all lead to different con diagnostic conclusions, and you'll get much more useful advice 
if you can tell us what the issue is out of the gate in a useful way. One other detail is if you're referencing another game, let's say you want the camera movement from the Zelda games, link to a video of the Zelda game. The person who knows how to make that camera movement work like the Zelda game may have never played Zelda, but if they see the video, they can know immediately how they want that camera to behave. So video is very useful in that respect. And those are the most important things that you need to know to get the most out of the Unity forums. I've been Ray Nothnagel, this has been Manta Mentoring. Please subscribe to so you can get more tips on how to get the most out of Unity and the forums. Good night. here you're going to be in this next shot so you posted code without code tags I put on pants for this joke